Hi guys, my name is Meads. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a review for the High Grade Universal Century Just a Cannon from the Gundam Unicorn OVA series. And uh, this is one of the really nice high grades uh, that you can get uh, as of late. And you know, I'm a big fan of the design. Uh, kind of reminds you of that uh, GM with a visor, but it's uh, like more of the upgraded. And actually, this is an upgrade from the just a regular Justa that came out uh, recently also. So this is really nice. Um, I'm really liking the design and why don't we just check out the high grade right now. At first glance and you might think, oh that's really nice, a uh, really nice color scheme and seems like it's you know good to go and it is. It's one of the few high grades out there that it's good right out the box. I haven't add any paint on this guy, just you know build it right out the box and you know just the way it's the color scheme it's kind of like similar to the Titans uh, since they already have a darker color scheme it's kind of hard to panel line them but <laughs> nonetheless uh, this one is already um, I mean just looking at the chest armor you get that really nice um, you know, color separation there and overall just a lot of nice uh, you know, small details that can add up to the overall look it's kind of blending in with my hanger <laughs> all right so um why don't we check out the accessories it comes with. You're going to have two rifles. One over there that was already holding and uh, this one. Uh, the nozzle, you can actually swap them. Actually, I kind of like uh, having th this one has an extended uh, nozzle. But uh, it's re really up to you, you whichever way you want it. And this one has a nifty gimmick that you can uh, take this top part off and kind of angled it and you can see more inner details and just nice overall um, unfortunately you're only getting one trigger finger hand on the right side I still don't know why you can just cast one for the left I mean you could do what will this guys that'll be nice but they just don't let you well another thing is the there's a peg on the handle Maybe that's why, I don't know if they put it on both sides, how is that going to work? Or just ha put a hole in there or something. <laughs> but, I mean, it is for stability and probably the reason they only have one for the right. But I still think that they can do one for the left. Because, let's see, let me just gather gra all the hands. I mean, you get all these hand manipulators. You get an open hand for both sides and for holding the beam saber. I mean, why not just add that too? <laughs> and you have the closed fist. Or actually, what is this one? Oh, the closed fist right there. Uh, let's see. And you can swap this out right here. And uh, put this on. Now, this is the one with the beam saber hilts. And actually, you'll only come with one. And if we can take this out. There we go. And get your beam saber effect part. And there we go. And you can have him hold this. And my color correction is out of whack. <laughs> and uh, you do have an extra one, but you only have one beam saber hilt. So these are great for other things. If you have another kit that needs beam saber effect parts. But yeah. Alright, putting this back on, but uh, just look at the design. I really like all these uh, rockets. I think they're rockets. I haven't really watched the OVA yet. I'm kind of just want to fin uh, wait for the whole thing to finish and just kind of go marathon it and maybe have a better idea of what's happening. It's taking them a while, but you know, it's all good because uh, there's a chance, a big chance for us to kind of just relax and enjoy the kids as they you know come out because sometimes when they finish the series already and the kids are just coming and it's kind of like uh, we're into new things already so enough of that uh, what else is there gimmicks um, oh yeah so aside from that uh, you already have this cannon so it goes up like so and points forward it's two separate things you have like a gutling gun and maybe there's a beam cannon I'm assuming that's one I should really do my research. <laughs> All right, and otherwise, uh, there is this kind of like a 
enclosure that you can put on top here and then it is poly cap and I think I put it on the wrong side and there we go and just to close it if you just want to have a regular backpack and there's two of them otherwise you can take them out and actually I'm not too sure if that's the let's see uh, you get uh, this piece right here and uh, this is kind of like a, a shield connector this is uh, when it's retracted and here's the just the shield it can mount over there and there's another one where it's uh, a little bit longer see this is uh, quite interesting and if they ever made a mass rate of this it'll be interesting how they get a well, Actually, it won't be too hard to make having this extending uh, handle or connector part for the shield. And there you go, you have the shield that you can. Not much uh, articulation. And there goes the backpack. <laughs> not too bad. Uh, there is some handles here. Um, take that might for just a just a connection. You can't really have it with this uh, connector, I mean, this piece right here. But uh, you probably don't need to, you just, that's the whole point of this connector part right here. Alright. And uh, you do have stickers for those who are wondering. You have decals, yes you do. These are clear ones and you have a sticker sheet. Which probably not going to use. Maybe the decals, but not the sticker sheet. <laughs> I just like to paint my kits. Alright, and uh... Let's see what else I can think about the Jessica then. And articulation. Basically you get the basic articulation for recent um, high grades. Uh, pretty good. Not much hindrance. Uh, even the hips. Although there's a ball joint there that might pop off. But pretty good. Uh, actually you get two of them. And I think that ball joint kind of helps it move side by side. You got the front skirts which you can uh, cut in half the peg inside so you can um, move them individually and you know overall really great I don't have much problem posing this guy a lot of good articulation and it's always the back squirt is fixed and yeah I mean that's pretty much it uh, you do have some extra parts when you're assembling this and I'm trying to find where I put that uh, ziplock bag it's somewhere in my desk there it is I get some parts here, but uh, I think this is just a half of the regular Jesta kit. And it's one of the uh, knee part here and this part here which is in that uh, color, the darker color. But with the Jesta Cannon you get a gray pieces. And it's already only half. Uh, I mean, it could work out if you want to have you know, just a regular Jesta, but uh, I mean, you're buying this kit for the cannons. <laughs> all right and i think i just pop up something <laughs> all right so uh let's go with conclusion and pretty much again uh as you can see in the review this is a really nice high grade uh, i highly recommend it it's just one of those that's really great out of the box uh, you don't have to do much uh, painting maybe add on the decals and maybe some stickers but that's pretty much it and it's really great and obviously if you add paint on it it will look better as most uh, mall kits out there yeah I highly recommend this guy um, just really nice <laughs> alright so that's it for my review hope you guys like it and if you have any questions or anything that you wanna ask just uh, leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer them for you so until then this is Meads thank you for watching